We are here at the Kluge Christmas Market and it is already such a fun vibe. They have music blasting. There's lots of vendors here and I'm so excited to walk around and see what yummy foods they have and just what else they have to offer. We had such a great first day here in Kluge Napoca in our last video, so we just can't wait to keep exploring and just see what else is here at this Christmas market. I already loved Romania so much, but after going to this Christmas market, I feel like my first impressions are immediately, the booths are so cute with the garland around it. It's so lit up and there's so much room. You're not like bumping into people. It might get a little bit busier at night. We'll see, we're gonna be here for a while. There's like a carousel, a Ferris wheel, a stage, just, and delicious food. This is gonna be a good night for sure. We got our delicious loaded fries. We don't know if this is a traditional Romanian snack. Probably <laughs> not, but it looks so good. And they might already be cold by now because we got like interviewed by some students at the university that's around here. And that was fun. We just talked to them for like 10 minutes. So we'll dig in now. We got the french fries or the potatoes with jalapenos, cheese, cheese sauce. That is so delicious. I am so jealous watching you eat those right now. I love it when I'm the first person uh, that gets to try the food. Usually it's Jenny and now it's my turn. This is the worst. I literally could not even wait. This is so delicious and warm. Romania is amazing and the fact that they have french fries at their Christmas market just makes it so much better. The final crumbs after just like one minute of us starting to eat it. Bam, that was great. Not only are these booths super pretty, but the surrounding area that we're in, like this square right here is also beautiful. So I feel like just no matter where you look, you have a beautiful view. We looked up what food you have to get at a Romanian Christmas market and Kirtos came up and we already know we love them. So we're gonna get one now. I think the best part of this is that it is so hot. I was like filming where they were like rolling them and there's just like hot coals there and it felt so good on my hand because I got pretty close. This is definitely a good idea because it's warm, but also because I know it's gonna be delicious. If Jenny's not careful, I'm gonna eat this first. Fine, I guess you can take the first bite. You got the first bite of the french fries. I definitely get the first bite of this, but I'm so excited. It is so large. Like, we're both gonna have plenty of this. The last time we had one of these that was this big in Romania was on the Transfiguration Highway. We had the best time there this summer, and that's why we're back. We decided we needed to do a Romanian winter too. Oh, it's just so good when it's warm with the cinnamon and the lights and the Christmas music. It's just creating the most perfect Christmas atmosphere. I will say, I think this is one of the only Christmas markets that we've been to in Europe where I can like very clearly hear the music. I feel like other ones they have it kind of playing softly, but this one they're like blasting it. And at first I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but now I really like it. There's just so much good food here. I mean, obviously all the stuff that we've eaten so far, but then there's cabbage rolls, there's some waffles over here that look delicious, and we're gonna go find a hot drink right now. We turned the corner to come to this part of the market that we haven't been at yet, and we noticed this extremely long line, and we were like, that has to be to see Santa, right? And we think he's gonna be right here in this chair pretty soon. I mean, the line's really long, Maybe we'll sneak a peek when he gets here. It is not completely dark yet, but I'm really holding out hope that once it gets a little darker, these lights turn on because I'll be so sad if we don't get to see them. They just turned them on one second ago. Literally right after I said that, they just turned on. This is so cool. That, all right, it looks way better now. Wow, that is so beautiful. We 
got a winter hot gin. It kind of looks like mold wine, but it smells completely different. Whoa. Don't you usually like gin? You do, right? No, I like it. It's just I've never had anything like it before. It's like a warm cocktail. I feel like I don't have those very often. I like can't think of a good way to describe it. There's like a little bit of orange. You can't really taste the gin too much. You guys, I'm having the best time. As soon as they turn these lights on, it like became a whole different vibe. And this tree is probably the prettiest tree I have ever seen. It like twinkles and glimmers. And now that Santa's here, we're just, we're throwing down. We're having a great time. Oh yeah, I've been waiting for this. My hands were getting a little bit freezing because I always have one hand out of the gloves. Mmm. This tastes, yeah, completely different than mulled wine. It has a very mild taste to it, but yeah, you can see that there's that orange slice in there. I could drink like five of these and not even <laughs> notice. Everyone's rushing <laughs> over to see <laughs> Santa. We think it's Santa. It's a party. The lights turned on, we got a drink, Santa's coming. Jenny and I are trying to figure out like what that whole line was about because when the guy on the microphone came on, everybody just crowded around. So people were just waiting in line for nothing. So sad. I still don't think they brought Santa out. It's dead silent now. It like was like a party and then everyone got over there and rushed over there and now it's just silent. Even the music stopped. Yeah, I feel like something's about to happen, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. I'm just so happy the lights are on. It made it so magical. Oh, <laughs> those kids. <laughs> Jenny and I have been trying to finish this pretty quickly just because it's not really that hot. Like I was really hoping that it'd be like almost burning my face off and my tongue, but <laughs> that's all right. I mean, we're just trying to drink it fast because it's almost cold now. I heard Nicholas, like St. Nicholas maybe. We want Santa, we want Santa. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think he's sneaking up on everybody. Uh-oh. Santa, is that you? Oh, hi Santa! What's he gonna do? How's he gonna get through the crowd? Oh. <laughs> we have the best view, kind of. Literally everyone's over there and all of a sudden I see this random Santa coming from the middle of nowhere and he just sneaks up there. That's so fun. There was so much build up. I thought he was gonna come out with like fire blazing around him. He just sneaks up behind everyone. So it turns out that all of the kids got a bag from some store around but, but here. Like, there was a lot of adults that had bags too, and some people had like three bags. And we missed out on them because we weren't in the crowd. Wow. And this guy is still talking on the microphone. We don't even know what he's saying. He's talking a lot. Jenny, I might have found the jackpot. What? Do you want a Kinder cookie or a red velvet cookie? Ooh, Kinder is my jam. I love Kinder. Mm, I might want red velvet. So now you're okay to get a red velvet cookie? Yeah, we got the cinnamon curd dose for me, so we can get the red velvet cookie for you. Kinder would have been fantastic too, but I'm feeling red velvet right now. Well, it was our third option, but we still feel like the cinnamon cookie is gonna be good. They were out of Kinder and red velvet. We'll give it a shot. It was only about like $2 for this cookie. So I feel like Christmas market prices, I feel like that's a good deal. It's, oh, I, I just pushed on it a little bit. It's like kind of hard on the outside, but I think it's soft on the inside. Oh, that's better than I was expecting. That's a good cookie. I love snickerdoodle cookies, so I feel like I'm really gonna like this. Very good. I do wish it was a little bit warm, but it's really cold outside, so this is still really good. There is still one thing that we have to get that I'm really excited for. This Christmas market has far exceeded all of my expectations. The lights, the music, the food. It's been so incredible and now we're gonna top it off with a typical Romanian dish. Jenny's totally right about this Christmas market. It's big without being too busy and also the decorations are really fun and now we get to try some cabbage rolls here. Oh yeah, it's a good night. I think our favorite dish in all of Romania is cabbage rolls. So we just had to get some at this Christmas market. Oh, I'm so excited. They're so delicious. 
Mm. Better than you remember? The same. So good. <laughs> and with the sour cream, oh my gosh, it's just so, so delicious. With the pork in it, this is literally what dreams are made of. My whole night is complete. The lights, the food, I mean, just everything has been so perfect. This is so good. This is reminding me of when we did our food tour in Bucharest a few months ago. And if you haven't seen that video, check it out right there. Thank you so much for watching this Christmas market video in Cluj, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Jacob took a giant bite of the pepper, but we forgot we didn't have any water with us. <laughs> that was really spicy.